Hey Gengar gang, what is going on? My name is Ryan, this is the Analytic Gengar, and welcome to another one of our videos. In today's video, part three, oh, three, yep, one, two, uh, part three of four in our Burning Shadows Amazingness Booster Box opening. Without further ado, I will now attempt to throw them on screen randomly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, Lego. Um, so, well, you know, it'd be funny is if the Charizard was in one of these, because I would hate to be the YouTuber that threw that many packs of Pokemon cards across the room and then pulled a Charizard. Yeah. And the topic for today's, well, quote unquote topic. Ooh, white code card. In case you're curious, code cards will be uh, taken away from this video and posted over on Instagram and or available for fans on Instagram. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to follow us over that way, reach out. Uh, the reason I do this, just in case anyone's curious, is because sometimes uh, folks will come on, steal all the code cards, and then go away with them. I try to keep it so that it's like one per person, but not everyone follows the rules. Therefore, we do this to make sure everyone gets a code card if they want one. Lana. Um, so today's specific topic is I bought these over on eBay um, and believe you me, in the end of 2019, I had over $15,000 of issues on eBay. So for what it's worth, it has been a very fun end of the year. Hello, Raichu, with a Krogonk in it. Yo, that's dope. Can we talk? Wait, wait, wait. Can we talk about this? Focus in on that real quick, camera. My transformer camera. I love it. So it has a Krogunk in it. I like Pokemon cards that are secretly cameo spots for other Pokemon, so this is a really dope card. I like that. Not that it's a pull, but hey. Um, well, yeah, friends. So, I mean, not to get into the spec like the specifics of it all, but long story short, had a card that I bought that didn't match the description. And as you can imagine, it was quite a high value card. So it was very fun to navigate that very slippery road of, uh, oh, it's, you know, this and this. And no, the card doesn't match the description. So, um, you know, putting all of that to the side, um, my topic is, have you ever sort of bought something fake or accidentally purchased something that didn't match a description on eBay? Um, these Burning Shadows boosters appear to be legitimate. Uh, again, you know, more than three quarters of the way through the booster box. I really can't say that they're not. Um, but, you know, for a fact, this is legitimate. Bought from a reliable seller and also bought from... Um, someone who I know sells legitimate product, so I'm not too worried. Also, having open parts of the booster box and getting actual pulls, I know for a fact that it is legitimate. Um, I think one of the reasons why I'm not um, amazed by this booster box is the quality control that went into it, and that is more Pokemon. That's more a Pokemon problem. I'll now focus in on this super quickly. So you can see right here a little chip. Um, you can feel right here a little chip and again you can sort of see right here a little chip So I think this was just quality control on Pokemon's part that kind of failed this box um, Which is kind of sad because I you know, I hate when Pokemon cards get damaged um, Especially when they didn't they never even made it out of the um, Not the dealership but the distributor or whoever has these Pokemon cards prior to they got beat up a little um, and that stinks so for what it's worth um there's a part of me that's like, ooh, gross. Um, but, you know, all things considered, have you ever purchased anything? Now, I've had the unfortunate luck of buying Burning Shadows before, and ironically enough, it wasn't even, um, a Persian is our rare. I, it, you know, it, it, was, it sucked because I didn't even get a chance to open, like, one or two of them until I realized, like, oh, these are 100% illegitimate cards. So I've had that happen to me before. I've had that thing happen where I just get left on red because, quote unquote, I opened them up already. And, uh, and you know, people will, rightfully so, by the way, um, sometimes say that you're just not happy with what you got out of the cards. But it's one thing when you open it up and you're not happy with what you got. There's another thing when you're going to say now, oh, they're fake. So... I guess that's something to always be aware of when you purchase Pokemon cards. That's why sometimes the easiest thing to do is to go to Target and buy them. Because honestly, it's just so much safer and so much simpler that way. Like, for the most part, you know they're going to be legitimate. Ooh, Darkrai. Hello. That's a dope card. Yo, 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 that, yo, that's a dope card. And center is actually not that bad. I'm surprised. 
Wonderful. Oh, there's a huge so so so. Let me see if I can't get that in for you guys. Right there, you can actually see it flickering in the light a little bit. There's a crease in the back of this card. So this was just a beat up set, like, and it's not to even say that the booster box is in bad condition. I will show you the booster box at the end of this video, because we'll only have the nine card, uh, the nine packs left. The booster box is in totally fine condition. So these cards are just poor quality control. Like, that's what this is, nothing more. Um, ooh, another white code card, how fun. One, two, three, four. But yeah, so, you know, sometimes when you buy, there's a, there's an immense number of variability that you sometimes have to deal with and it can be very annoying because it's like you could buy from a totally legitimate store and just not get any good pulls which has happened to me then you can buy from these not illegitimate but these alternative sources of cards and you can still end up in situations where you either a don't get good cards or b something like this happens um where you just got wholly unlucky a riperior is our holographic for the card not bad what a waste of a white code card. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was a great pull. I'm very happy about it. I'm just very sassy about it, too. Okay. All right. Got another one. Uh. All right. Back to the greens. Back to the greens. Makes sense. One, two, three, four. From the front. Hello, Charizard's energy card. A Curlia's. A Olivia's. A... Guy from Alola, a Magikarp, a Alolan Rattata, a Wimpod, a Togedamaru, a Sock, a Dusclops, Reverse Hollow, ooh, and a Meowstick is our rare of the deck. Nice beach card though, I kind of really appreciate that. Um, four more to go, friends, just so you know, you got Spooky Ghost Man right here. Spooky Fighting Ghost Man. And then, let's see what we're cooking with here. I've got a Tangela, I've got another green. One, two, three, four from the back. We've got a Metal Energy, a Electric, Simi Sage, Noctowl, a Tangela, a Rhyhorn, a Riolu, Cutie Fly, Tynamo, a Wiki, and a Shinotic is our rare for the pack. And yeah, so that's, I mean, you know, in short, it doesn't appear as though you can always win. Um, and sometimes you'll buy from totally legitimate sources and just not pull anything either, which is also ironically funny because it's like, bro, I can't even win if I try. Um, so for what it's worth, sometimes you've just got to be super cautious. It always helps to have like buyer protection in place, like on places like Amazon and eBay, because if the cards turn out to be illegitimate, which is one problem that is totally separate from just not getting good pulls at least you have that as a sort of backup like hey i just bought this and it's it's buns bro fix it and you know most sellers are pretty good and they'll try to work with you on establishing whether or not cards are fake or whether or not um you know they're reliably sourced so on and such forth and our pull is a oh wow okay cool wonderful superb you see, sometimes you follow the rules and you still get nothing. Got a Necrozma pack. Okay, that's fine. I'm struggling. As is the usual. That's okay. I do this quite a bit. I struggle. It's fine. Uh, another green code card. One, two, three, four. Again, if you're interested in those friends, make sure to check us over on Instagram. Follow us and subscribe. We're more than happy to get some code cards for you. Um... Just this way helps to make sure everyone gets a code card if they want one. Pan Poor, Pan Sage, will we get a Pan Fire, Pan Flame, whatever his name is, Esper, Sock, Noibat, Weakness Policy, and a Azumarill. And our last pack for the day. So what do we got today? Oh, got a white code card. Interesting turn of events here. For the past two openings, we have had green code cards. But it is a water energy, so this is concerning to me. This is concerning to me. We got a Sophocles, Bodybuilding Dumbbells, a Simipore, a Magikarp, 
a Mudbray, a Alolan Radic Taff, a Panpour, a Caterpie, a Zoomerill, and ooh, ooh, ooh. What is this? Oh, it's an Alolan Mock. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all is what I have to say to that. All right, we're gonna sleeve this fella up. Thank you again for joining today's video, friends. This is part three of four, so make sure to stay tuned, hit that notification bell, subscribe, and we'll let you know when that new video, number four of four, the last set of packs, will be opened up. And like I was saying earlier, um, I'll take these out real quick. Make sure there's, oh good, there's only eight of them. Wait, did I accidentally open it? Oh, this is awkward. All right, that's good. That's wonderful. All right, we may or may not have opened up 10 packs in one of these videos. Uh, we'll figure that out, but yeah, yeah, check this out. Like, totally fine, nothing crumpled. Um, it really is quality control. Like, I don't even believe it was the, um, the booster box itself. It really was just quality control on that particular set of cards that was just buns. So for what it's worth, I mean, hey, what are you gonna do? It happens, question mark, I guess. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks again for joining today's video. We appreciate your viewership. Thank you again. Feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and we will see you real soon with part four. Make sure to stay tuned. We got tons of new content coming out every single week. And uh, yeah, thanks again for joining us. Peace.